Good day everyone. Um, here with me is Mr. John Wilkins Torino, a student artist studying at CMU from the College of Education, major in science. So today we will be witnessing his life about his perspective and experience in art. So um, good day, sir. So today I will. Um, today I know that uh, we all know that a uh, art in a holistic point of view, or should I rather say, in a broader perspective, mm -hmm. you know that as an artist. Um, uh, art is based on emotion or motivation. For you, as an artist, where do you get inspiration for your paintings? Well, first of all, good evening all of us. Good evening to you. Um, when I was young, my, my was, it was my first inspiration to create an artwork, which is only a uh, um, movie series in South Africa called The Raymond, mm -hmm. which is an anime. So I was being inspired at the time to create a different perspective of making drawings and creating with my own imaginations how I'm going to create that kind of figures. Until then, I was being inspired for a lot of motivation when it comes to school. Um, that time, it develops my own perspe perspective and skills when it comes to creating an artwork. Basically, when they entered me in some poster making. So, it really inspired me to create an artwork. But today, nowadays, um, it was a great opportunity to enter some of tournaments or even some competitions when it comes to creating an artwork showing your own art art um, art gallery so i was being inspired when it comes to love when it comes to having an emotions crazy emotions of love and being motivated mostly with some other artists who is also very uh, inclined of art mostly this, the same uh, passions of medium all right so from our second question is when did you notice your interest in painting well, that's that's quite interesting. But <laughs> yes, um, I didn't exactly when and was was I, I discovered that I'm interested in art or creating some paintings. But maybe when I was in kindergarten, since I create some of sketching that time by um, with my own imaginations. If you're going to visit with my own house, you see some of sketch in the walls because. Uh, that time I only used crayons and then creating some a lot of drawings in the wall. So the time I think that was I was grade um, seven years old. I discovered that I have an interest in painting or art. So um, how did you develop develop your skills in painting? Well, you just need to do a practice. But sometimes when you are doing practice, you don't have any motivations and interest in creating an artwork. Well, there's a lot of way when I was growing. As a young artist, first is the school. It really inspired me to create an artwork when your teacher was going to motivate you that you're going to enter the competitions, okay, go on, or even your classmates or having a crush. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then, um, the most um, develop, I mean, the most part that I develop my skills is with my one teacher. Um, he gave, uh, she gave me something uh, materials that. It really developed my skills in art, which is the charcoal pencil. I never um, forget that kind of um, teacher when I was in grade 12. That was the time that I was going to graduate. And she just gave me a gift, which is just one charcoal pencil. And that time, it changed my life right now. It sounds like it's not a teacher for you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so here's the word um, What are the challenges that you face as a student artist? Well, first is money. Yeah. yeah, money. So, when you are an, an artist, you need to have an investment of art. And in art, you should invest more a lot of uh, expensive materials because when you don't have any expensive materials, you can create some. I mean, I did say that you, even though um, you need you need to require that you're going to use expensive materials, but some of those, uh, some specific tools are expensive that you need to use when it comes to creating artwork, mostly with my own medium. And I'm now in mastery and expertise when it comes to my field in charcoal and graphic pencil. So that are uh, that is one of my difficulties as a student artist when it comes to money. Yeah, really, uh, money is really a challenge when, when you're still a student. So, um, last question is, do you have any message for those students or people who are inclined to the same passion in the arts? Well, one of my um, teacher told me that if you have this kind of talent, you should develop. No? Even in God tells you that um, if God gave you something in your life today, then you should need to 
develop and grow for that so that you can share to those people as well and give some much more uh, motivations and inspirations to them. So